sneaky crime, stealing credit card and private information by a process called skimming. California recently passed a law making it a crime. But for someone willing to break the law, these high-tech cards have a privacy loophole that could make you an easy target. Jason Martinez is live in Hollywood to explain that one, Jason. Yeah, Emmett, I mean, first let me show you how these new credit cards work. They use the same technology as some of your work ID cards where you hold it up to the reader and it scans and it's got the information for the computer to read. But imagine this is the credit card. That's the cash register. It's supposed to make life easier for you and more convenient, but does it make life easier for identity thieves too? Now there's a simpler way to pay. The credit card companies love this new technology called radio frequency identification also known as RFID. Instead of swiping your card, all you have to do is hold it up to a scanner and you're out the door. Sounds easy, and it may be, but could it also make the crime of stealing your identity easy? The idea is it's a lot quicker. Florida businessman Walt Augustinowitz shows us just how simple it could be for a thief to use this new technology to steal some of your personal information. I bought a, a credit card reader for $9 on eBay and uh, had it shipped to me, hooked it up to my laptop, waved my credit card in front of it, and there was all my information on screen. You don't even have to have your card out to have your identity stolen. It could be in your wallet, in your back pocket, and all it takes is for somebody with a reader to walk by and scan it. He just got my credit card number. And it's not just your credit card number in jeopardy. Some driver's licenses, passports, and ID cards also have RFID technology. MasterCard and Visa want you to be using these new cards. We put together a group of about 10 business people who volunteer to test their vulnerability. What I'm trying to show is how somebody even with no technology experience at all could buy something like this off eBay, hook it up with a laptop, and go out and do this in public. Watch what happened when the very first volunteer walked up to see if any of her cards could be detected. You can just put it near there. Got one. With a $9 reader that anyone can buy off the internet, the credit card number was scanned, and after the beep, a computer screen showed her card number and expiration date, and she didn't even know her card had the new technology. This is totally pretty scary. Yeah, this is really scary. Um, I think I realize I have these cards in my, in my wallet all this time. As for the rest of these volunteers, even though their cards were not readable, oh, so I'm okay. this was still an eye-opening experience. Just ask two-time identity theft victim Juan Torres. We thought that they had to get a hold of our uh, name, our checking account, something of that sort. I never thought that it would be so easy. This is unbelievable. But the credit card companies say the new technology reduces the risk of fraud and is more secure than traditional magnetic stripe cards. If a crook ends up with your credit card number and expiration date, MasterCard tells us, quote, you can't make an Internet or phone purchase since the merchant should ask for the three-digit code on the back or zip code verification to complete any purchase, end quote. The credit card companies say many consumers feel more secure with PayPass because they never have to turn the card over to a cashier and it never leaves their hand. And coming up in just a few minutes, we're going to tell you how you can check your card to make sure that it does or does not have this technology. We'll tell you a way to do that and also how you can protect yourself in a very cheap and easy way. Coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you, Emma. Before the break, we showed you how inexpensive electronic scanners can be used to steal your credit card information. But we've also got an easy way that you can make sure that it doesn't happen. Jason Martinez live in Hollywood with the rest of this eye-opening story, Jason. Yeah, I mean, we can uh, show you, we just showed you a little while ago how easy it can be to steal your information on this credit card. And now we're going to show you how you can tell if your card has this information and what you can do to protect yourself. It's called radio frequency identification technology also known as RFID, and it's being used in more and more credit and bank cards. RFID lets customers make purchases in seconds with just the swipe of the card near the reader. But look what happened when we tested cards on an inexpensive scanner. You can just put it near there. <laughs> Got one. Odds are your credit card is not armed with the new technology today. 5% of all the credit cards in circulation have RFID chips in them. But over the next three years, the goal is to have every credit card equipped with contactless technology. How can you tell if your card is loaded with an RFID chip? Look for this symbol on the back of the card. Also, look for words like PayPass or ExpressPay or Zip. 
If you find out your card has the new technology, don't panic. The same guy who showed us how easy it can be to steal has invented a way to protect yourself. You can't read the card. It's a simple sleeve made of Tyvek that blocks all radio signals. If you want to use the card, just take it out of the little sleeve. Usually about halfway out or so. But once it's back in here, it's shielded. I didn't start the business actually to make money. I just started because I knew I wanted such a device. And then I started talking to people and they're like, you really ought to sell that. And it kind of went from there. Okay, here's the good news now. You can buy a pack of five secure sleeves that we just showed you about for 20 bucks. Five for 20 bucks online. You can go to our website, ktla.com, and we'll have a link for you to get to that company so you can buy some for yourself. So no need to panic. An easy way to protect yourself, and it's cheap. Emmett and Leela? Okay, Jason, if you decide this is too dangerous, can you just opt out? Can you call up your credit card company and say, you know, I don't want this technology? Yeah, you can do that, and you should do that. If you don't feel comfortable, you can call your credit card company and say, listen, I don't want this technology on my cards. However, in the next three to five years, every single one of these credit cards, the goal here is to have them all equipped with this technology. So you can opt out for now, but it's only temporary, and it's only a matter of time before your card makes that uh, beep noise when you buy something. Yeah, but Jason, this is what I don't get, and maybe you don't have the answer to this, but credit card companies are responsible for the charges that somebody who steals your number racks up. So wouldn't they be the ones who would want better technology to, to guard against that? Well, you heard them, Emmett, say that they think it's safer because you don't actually hand the card over to the merchant. You just uh, swipe it, and that three-digit code that's on the back well, that's not, uh, that is protected because it doesn't show up when we read the card in our story tonight. So it can be safer in some ways, but the goal here is to let the people know that this technology is out there and that you can be vulnerable. So